I look forward to the day where I get to bring my son to a Starbucks and get him a little Frappuccino and tell him the story. Starbucks has a bit more of a significance in Autumn Lucy's life other than where she goes for a good cup of joe. It took us about a year to conceive the first time and then we lost that pregnancy and we got pregnant again and we lost that one. Roughly 19% of women in the U.S. are unable to get pregnant after one year of trying and about 26% of women have difficulty getting pregnant or carrying a pregnancy to term. Globally, nearly 200 million people are living with infertility. Doctors told Autumn and her husband in vitro fertilization or IVF was their best option for expanding their family. The average patient racks up a bill close to $50,000 for IVF, a number Autumn says was far out of reach. And that's not even factoring in other expenses associated with pregnancy and a hospital delivery. I started looking for other companies that would cover IVF in their insurance plans. And all of them but Starbucks at the time were requiring full-time employment. I was working on my husband's small business, helping him launch it, and I just did not have the time to devote 40 hours a week to a full-time job in addition to what I was doing. Starbucks Health Insurance includes a $25,000 lifetime maximum for fertility services, including IVF, and $10,000 for the associated prescription needs. Employees can also be reimbursed for qualifying expenses up to a lifetime maximum of $40,000 for attempted or successful adoption, surrogacy, or intrauterine insemination, or IUI. I came in three days a week at 4.30 in the morning and left about noon until I gained enough hours to qualify for health care benefits. Starbucks benefits kick in after three months, assuming the employee has worked at least 240 hours, which for Autumn was about 20 hours a week. She started IVF as soon as she could in January 2022. I chose a plan with a $0 deductible that had a very high monthly premium. The monthly premium was so high that it was more than I was bringing home in my bi-weekly 20-hour-a-week paycheck. Her egg retrieval was in February, the transfer in April, and shortly after, finally saw that eight-letter word she'd been praying for. This one's not as dark as that one. This is the this is where my pee was. Oh. <laughs> her and her husband are expecting a baby boy in January 2023, and she's been documenting her journey, helping other women do the same. In my first day at Starbucks, I made a TikTok video showing my outfit of the day, saying I'm going to work at Starbucks for fertility benefits. I'm in my uniform, wearing all black. That TikTok went viral. A lot of women find my TikTok and realize this is an avenue that is accessible to them. And so they go and they apply at Starbucks for the same reasons that I did. Victoria DiPonso, a 27-year-old in Colorado, is one of them. We were told the only way we would ever conceive would be with IVF with ICSI. I had saw Autumn Lucy's TikTok video about her getting a job at Starbucks specifically to pay for IVF. I started calling every day and then showing up there and asking if my application had been looked at. So I finally got called and got an interview. I got hired and I started the next week. Victoria quit her full-time job as a sales consultant. Although before officially leaving, she was informed the company did in fact have fertility benefits. And I ended up taking COBRA coverage from them to get me through the egg retrieval process in November. And then we did a fresh transfer, but it failed. So I believe my egg retrieval with my fresh transfer was around 25,000. And then the medications for that around 10,000. My frozen embryo transfer, 5,000. So about 40,000. But round two while at Starbucks was a success. Victoria and her husband are expecting their baby boy in December, 2022. It cost me a little over 207 a paycheck, um, which I got paid bi-weekly. Had I been, had I stayed with just one company either way, I would have paid a lot more out of pocket. In the end, it was very strategic on my part, <laughs> um, using two different companies for two different fertility package benefits. Both women have since left Starbucks. I have swollen feet and swollen legs, and standing on my feet all day was growing more and more uncomfortable. The bending, the squatting, the lifting, carrying the ice bucket, hiking it up to pour it in, grabbing gallons of milk. It was becoming a lot. I was exhausted and I also could just feel myself moving slower. But both these former baristas and the more than 8,000 women in the Starbucks IVF Warriors Facebook group are grateful to Starbucks for helping them grow their families. 
Working at Starbucks for fertility coverage was absolutely worth my time and energy. I suggest it to other women struggling who feel like IVF is out of reach for them. Starbucks gave me an avenue to access these treatments at a price that was affordable for me. Victoria estimates she spent between four and $6,000 out of pocket. Meanwhile, Autumn spent a bit more than 5,000. The $5,073 that I spent out of pocket covered prescriptions that went over the $10,000 maximum that Starbucks has, PGT genetic testing of my embryos, and clinic fees that my fertility clinic charged that were not billable to insurance. The fertility coverage through an employer was the only way that we were going to be able to afford this. I guess we could have taken out a loan. We would have been in debt paying it back for I don't know how many years. And they're both continuing to document their journeys. I think more companies should allow part-timers access to benefits, but I think more importantly, more states should mandate fertility coverage for the insurance plans in those states. There are certain states that require that every insurance plan include infertility coverage, and Michigan is not one of them. Only 20 states have passed fertility insurance coverage laws, and only 14 of those laws include IVF coverage. If every state required infertility coverage, women wouldn't have to go outside of their careers to seek alternate employment to gain access to benefits. I, I don't think I'd be pregnant right now <laughs> without um, the fertility coverage benefits and it needs to become more standardized. Infertility is a medical diagnosis and it deserves health coverage just as much as any other disease out there. These soon-to-be mothers are thankful for their latte-making journeys that have changed their lives. We just finished painting the baby's room. I painted it forest green. And for all those wondering. No, the name is not Starbucks and it is not coffee related. It is not chai. I get that a lot. <laughs>